And then David went to a brook, not a stream, it says, not a river, a brook. And grabbed five stones. And I don't know how the Lord does some of this. But since I believe the Bible is so intricately and perfectly put together, I believe it's not just coincidence, but he's really talking to us. That word brook means literally inheritance. Now, why would the word for inheritance be the word for a stream or a brook? Because Hebrew is a picture language. A word paints a picture, and you set that picture into a context, and you interpret what that picture means based on the context. Okay. So the word means literally to possess something which gives you the ability to control or determine where it goes. So it's the word for a brook because it's a part of the land that has collected or, and now controls where the water goes. So it's the word. It's the word for an inheritance because you are giving something, given something and now you control it and you have the right to determine where it goes. So you put that symbolism back into the passage. David grabbed his history in one hand and reached into his inheritance in the other hand and got five smooth stones. That's pretty good stuff, isn't it? Somebody said stop right there, man. Says, well. <laughs> See law, let's think about that. This is my land. God gave it to my granddaddy. You're standing on my land. Uncircumcised Philistine who is not in covenant with God like I am. And then there's one more thing. I already told you he's from the tribe of Judah. How many of you know what Judah means? Praise. But see, it really doesn't mean praise. Praise is a derived meaning. Because this picture language... The word literally means to extend the hand. Now, in the context of worship, since we do this, it became a word for praise. Because in worship, you extend the hand. But since it means to extend the hand, it also means to throw a stone. So years before this, out there on the hillside, David is deciding, what, what weapon am I going to get proficient with? A bow, a knife, an M50. No, he didn't have an M50. <laughs> I can't prove this. I don't even know if it's true, other than whether he had the thought or Holy Spirit just led him. He thought, you know... Our Holy Spirit said, well, well, you're Judah. You're the tribe that... throws stones. I'll just become proficient throwing stones because that's who I am in my DNA. Way back in my history. God carved into my DNA... I'm from the tribe that throws stones. When he went to face the giant, all David did was tap into his historical, God-given 
DNA. You come at me with a sword and a spear. And I come to you in the name of the Lord with a sling. It's not a slingshot, it's a sling. And I'm just going to be Judah. That's all I need to be. I'm just going to tap into my inheritance. I don't really think it would have mattered which direction David sent that stone. Don't think it would have mattered one bit. If it had been this way, we just went. Because it had the power of Almighty God, whose promise in history and covenant, covenant was steering that rock. God said to me once, son, I don't need your perfection. He sent me to Washington, D.C. to decree some things once over, that, or over the nation. And the first time he ever sent me to do it. And it was just a weighty, weighty, weighty assignment. And I was going to be in a service leading. And I was going to lead the people in some prayers and decrees. And I was just starting out in this. And, and I remember being really nervous. And my stomach was in knots. And I thought, man, this is really important. And I, I don't know really what I'm doing. And I remember during the worship saying to the Lord, and I was very serious and I was very nervous. And I remember saying, Lord, exact words, I'm going to try really hard not to mess this up. And I'll never forget what he said to me. Son, you'd have to try really hard to mess this up. Because you get up there and to the best of your ability, just say what I told you to say. I'm going to do this. Because it's not about how perfectly you say it. I just need a voice. And David, so David just tapped into who he was. The only weapon I need is just to go out there and be Judah because this is my land. This is Judah. We don't need the most money to win this war, Jason. We don't need, and we don't have right now, the biggest voice in media. It'd be nice if we did. Because they have incredible influence. They're giants. They have giant influence. It'd be nice if we controlled the colleges and universities. I don't mean controlling that. I mean, if truth was still being taught there rather than ideology and nonsense and foolishness. And... But we don't have to regain full control before we can turn this thing around. What we need is to tap into covenant. See a third great awakening that reconnects us to our history. If we say, Lord... It's not what we want. It's what you want. And we grab our history. And we reach into our inheritance. And we throw the stone.